Hey folks, I am so excited today because this is my first YouTube channel beef. Beef, beef, beef. That's right. I'm beefing with Antoine, the Complex Games apologist, because he said beef words. I'm going to make the Complex Games apologist apologize. <laughs> hey, Antoine, how you doing? And this is what Antoine said to make me beef with him. Uh, you're welcome to disagree. I'm, I'm not even sure I agree with myself, but it's a thought experiment. And it, I think it's an important one to have with oneself because I'm seeing more and more of high fantasy assumptions, zero to hero assumptions, and even normative assumptions that every RPG uh, needs to have a campaign that in order to be a really good game, it's got to go the distance. These are D&D assumptions. <laughs> Just having a little fun, folks. I felt like being a little wacky for this uh, video. I love Antoine's uh, channel, The Complex uh, Games Apologist. It's really great. Go check out uh, his channel on YouTube. The part that I'm talking about beefing with is the last part of his statement where he talked about the idea that campaigns can only be good if they last or that that is kind of an idea out there that, that he may have questions about. And like a lot of things in our hobby, it depends on personal preference uh, generally and the, uh, I guess, the social contract and so forth and just what your, uh, what your play style and personal preference is. Uh, a lot of players love uh, one shots, a lot of players, and I used to be the type of player who loved to move from game to game in the hobby. But of course, as I've always said, as I became a, a OG in the hobby, I really don't have a lot of um, time to game. It's, it's really hard when you're adulting to get games going. So I'm looking now for a solid commitment whenever I can find it. And this, this is going to be more personal preference, but for me, Character is very important. Uh, beliefs and playing your character as a living, breathing individual in the game in which you are playing is really important to me. That is why I am the narrator, <laughs> because uh, I love mechanics and I love character. And for, for the most part, if I am jumping from character to character, game to game, and I don't have an opportunity to really latch on to a character, the experience is not as deep for me. Now, of course, I'm not talking about characters dying. I am fully on board with the idea of uh, consequence in role-playing games. For me, that's what role-playing games are about, players making decisions and having to work through the consequences of those decisions. But if my character is going to live my preference is to have him or her in an ongoing campaign in the same system, watching the character grow. That's where the depth in the experience is for me. And again, uh, like a lot of topics in our hobby, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just preference. So if someone says that a meaningful campaign is one that goes on for a while, I wholeheartedly agree with that idea because jumping from system to system, campaign to campaign, character to character, if it's not because of character death, is really a, um, a surface experience for me. I have for the last several months now turned down one shots with my local guys because I knew that they weren't going to be able to commit to anything long term. And if it so if it wasn't a game that I would get a great experience out of because I haven't played the game before or haven't played it a great deal, I, I'm really not interested at this point. I want um, a long term 
game or campaign and pref my preference is for it to be a new experience. So if I'm going to do a one shot, I am certainly not going to do it with a game that I've played um, a ton of. So yeah, that is my uh, my response, my beef with <laughs> Antoine over at the uh, Complex Games Apologist. And uh, what do you think? Where are you in the hobby? Have you been paying for 30 plus years like me and you're tired of the same old, same old experience? Do you draw enjoyment from having a deep long-lasting experience with the games or are you at a point in the hobby where you love jumping from campaign to campaign character to character system to system and i'd be interested if you love jumping from system to system have have you just started would you say you're midway through your uh experience in the hobby or oh are you an original gamer like me i wonder uh, how much that affects how much you like to jump from system to system game to game uh, thanks for checking out this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are watching this video.